Gastroparesis is a medical condition in which the stomach muscles stop functioning properly, preventing the stomach from emptying properly. Now, normally the muscles of the stomach contract and relax in a coordinated manner to move food down into the small intestine for digestion. But with gastroparesis, these muscles either slow down or stop working altogether, causing the food to remain in the stomach for a longer period of time. As you might imagine, this results in negative symptoms for the patient. The most common symptoms of gastroparesis include nausea, vomiting, bloating, abdominal pain, and feeling full after only eating a small amount of food. In severe cases, it can also cause weight loss, malnutrition, and dehydration. The exact cause of gastroparesis is typically unknown, but it's most commonly associated with diabetes because high blood sugars can damage the nerves that help coordinate gastric emptying. Viruses can trigger gastroparesis and certain medications like opioids or anticholinergics can as well. There's no cure for gastroparesis, but it can be managed through dietary changes, medications to control symptoms, and in rare cases, surgery. Eating smaller, more frequent meals and eating low fiber and low fat meals typically help patients with gastroparesis. The medication metoclopramide helps promote gastric motility by helping contract the stomach to try to move food that's stuck there into the small intestine. Similarly, we use the medicine erythromycin to achieve a similar goal. Interestingly, erythromycin is actually an antibiotic. It's a very similar drug to azithromycin, which is also called a Z-Pak, that many people take for bacterial upper respiratory infections. Erythromycin you might not have heard of before because we don't use it for infections anymore because it causes such severe GI side effects. But the reason it causes these side effects is because it promotes gastric motility and it causes food to move out of your stomach and move through your intestines much quicker than normal. So we actually take advantage of that side effect by using the medicine to treat gastroparesis. Comment below with any questions and let me know what disease I should discuss next. Thanks.